Hey everybody, I'm, I'm back again with another sweet little epic video. Um, I was just scrolling through YouTube and I happened upon a little video that I haven't seen in a while and I, I just want to share it with all of you because maybe you've forgotten. Those of you who haven't seen it, I think there's definitely some things to learn here. So as always, get out your notebook, your pen, your freaking eraser. If you're stupid and think that that can erase pen. And let's take a look at um, a Super Mario sex tape. I worded that wrong. A Nintendo sex ed tape. The Nintendo sex ed tape. Holy sh- holy shit, Mario! Ah, uh, goddamn, relax! What do you know about human sexuality, puberty, and STDs? Oh, 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 Mario, I know! They happen to everyone! What? I mean, whoever this guy is, he's a phenomenal actor. And he earned the heroin money that he got from this little appearance here. Then you need a trip to Nintendo Land for a crash course in knowledge! Hey, come on in, Paisano! I just love the little dichotomy of just Nintendo power, safe sex is the best. Because I would imagine that around the time that this this little video was made, no gamer, no no Nintendo player, no one who touched an arcade cabinet or anything of the sort got pussy or was laying down pipe. I I wasn't happening. So I just I just find this so incredibly entertaining and just a, a beautiful little I don't even know what to call this, but it, it's pretty funny. What? Welcome to Nintendo Land, my little garbanzo bean. You've been selected to learn firsthand about all the changes your body's been going through lately. Okay, so let's just let's just recap this story here because uh, it's it's a little more disturbing. You know, Matt Pat, take some notes because Mario once again is the villain. So a child is playing Super Mario Three. He's sucking ass at the first little blush there, which is incredibly easy. Somehow, somehow he missed that, you know, the, the brain dead jump. Whatever, we don't have to worry about that. It's not a big deal. And, and all of a sudden, Mario appears on his TV and forcefully drags him into the digital world against his will and is now telling him about the changes his body is about to go through. How old is Mario? 43 years old, Mario, this is completely inappropriate. This is not, not cool. Huh? Get this guy a fucking Emmy or whatever the hell, cause, cause his acting is, is good. It's, it's real, it's, it's, I like it. Here's a my brother Luigi now to tell you a whole heap of a spaghetti pile of information. Hello, Mario. I've seen this this video countless times, and, and that just that never never ceases to make me chuckle. I mean, I, I don't I don't think I need to explain why that's so funny, but I, I'm going to anyways. I just love how the the voice actor for Mario is like is like kind of trying, you know, at least a little bit, and then and then Luigi just comes in like. Hello, Mario. It's so jarring. I love it. It's comedic gold. It's perfect. And I don't think they meant to do that. Hello, I'm Luigi, and I'm here today to tell you all about puberty and its many effects. Puberty is a radical process whereby your body becomes an adult body, entirely capable of reproduction. Well, don't just to tell him, Luigi. Show him! I know we all know this, and I just fucking talked about it, but that's not Luigi. That, that's, that's just not Luigi. Luigi, what's that? Yeah, what is that? This is the male penis and testicles. Can I show this? I can imagine, right? It's educational, but uh... Why is it gotta be the little toad showed, you know? This canonically means that toads have dicks and balls. This is what this confirms. It, officially, toads have cocks and balls. Now what Toadette's rocking, you know, that's that's anyone's guess, but at least we know that there are male toads out there and they have peni. 
Luigi, what's that? Yeah, what is that? This is the male penis and testicles. <laughs> I love how they don't know what a cock and balls are. As if they haven't seen them every single day of their lives since they were born. Whoa, what is that? Oh yeah, what is that? This is the male penis and testicles. Holy shit, that's what that looks like? The testes have two main functions. To produce hormones and sperm, which are necessary for reproduction. Wow, I had no idea. He says that like that's some crazy revelation. I mean, I guess it is the first time you're hearing it, but yeah, balls make cum, believe it or not, and also they're, they're booze. Within months of the testes beginning to grow, rising levels of testosterone promote growth of the genitalia or penis. Pubic hair also appears shortly after the penis begins to grow. Editing this video must have been so fucking fun, holy shit. That is some insane asset usage that I'm seeing in this video, it is- it's some of the best I've ever seen. But what in the name of lasagna lovers everywhere is puberty like for girls? I don't know Mario, let's ask Luigi. In girls, breast development is the first physical sign of puberty. The second change is pubic hair growth. Ovulation is the production of eggs for the sake of reproduction, i.e. the joining of a male sperm with a female egg during sexual intercourse. And nine months later, a baby is born. So that's how it works. <laughs> they seriously just couldn't find a lone sprite of baby Mario. It had to be. Or just Yoshi alone or something. They, they, they're... Out of any picture they could have chosen, it was the one that was two characters. Speaking of bouncing a baby's Luigi, what about an unwanted pregnancy, STDs, and AIDS? Yeah, what about that stuff? There's nothing you can do, Mario. It's an inevitable fact of life. Hey, Luigi, what's going on here? Yeah, this is totally black. This dialogue hasn't been great this this whole time, but that was that was a, like a, a step above everything else in terms of just how shittily written that was. Mario, we are here to learn that if you engage in sexual intercourse without the use of contraception or a condom, this could happen to you. God god damn. Ooh, shit. Kind of kind of sounds like you go to hell before you die. By wearing a condom or latex covering, which is placed over the penis during sexual intercourse. The following exercise should demonstrate how effective a condom can be in avoiding STDs, AIDS, and teen pregnancy. So I'm actually exempt from this because um, no condom is, is like big enough and girthy enough to contain what I have. So... I, th this doesn't apply to me, but for the rest of you, it does. Hey, can we, can we play that back? Did they just say what I, what I thought it said? Condom boots, huh? I'm just gonna say something I think needs to be said. Boots will not save you from AIDS. They'll not save you from teen pregnancy or any or pregnancy of any kind actually and it won't save you from anything besides like cold feet and snow don't listen to nintendo's propaganda condom boots will not help you so from personal experience you know having had sex with your mother countless times um i can tell you that that's not what safe sex or any sex uh, looks like or is is anywhere near but hey, maybe I just wasn't doing it right. Well, I sure have learned my lesson I'll always wear a condom. Oh, ho, ho, buddy You're not gonna need to cuz you're you're playing video games in the freaking 80s or 90s or whenever the hell this was made I don't, I don't really know. Yes, but remember the only way to avoid STDs AIDS and teen pregnancy 100% is to abstain from sex altogether but if you are going to engage in sexual intercourse, make sure to wear a condom. Or you can just pray really, really, really hard. And you that's always worked for me. So, I mean, you can try it out too. You don't, you don't really need to wear any of that, any of that gross, disgusting, synthetic shit. The only protection you need is the, is the big man upstairs. Because as we all know, safe, safe sex, sex is, is the, the best. best. Yeah, nothing better.